Don't get me wrong. Nothing is wrong with riding with other bikers. I'm also questioning the choice of songs that they were playing. <laughs> Hey, another day, another ride. I'm not riding alone. There's my roommate with me. But I've gotten late. That's why he just left. <laughs> and I don't mind because I deserve that. Yep, both of us have almost the same bike. What? <laughs> well, where's my content? He's asking. Anna? <sighs> After so many months I've ri I'm riding dirt finally. For so many months. Okay, it's cold. Finally, something that we can call roads is here. We've got a long way to go, so I'll maybe meet you at the highway. Because there's no point in unless you want to look the newly built road so yeah let's let's check that out i mean i can go about 20 kilometers per hour now that itself is a surprise although there's a lot more work to be done but it's good for a start look at that proper tar road man i'm starving right now I'm very very hungry <laughs> Beautiful weather, beautiful. Nice and cold, not too cold as well. And uh, not too warm as well. I mean, nowhere close to warm. So, lovely, lovely feeling. I just hope no one crosses the road, man. That's a nightmare for me, dude, seriously. It's funny how all of these experiences, like, now the, the very in the very recent past an uncle just crossed the road and i stopped right at his feet <laughs> as if i'm his devotee and finally saved him literally i saved his life that day if not his life then at least his limb because that would have been really brutal huh but um, it's it's funny how it gets stuck into your algorithm not the algorithm so to speak your intelligence <laughs> uh, youtuber mind so algorithm comes first it gets fixed into your intelligence that see this has happened so every every further instance a similar situation comes you'll have to think of the same thing and then act accordingly so it's funny how our brain works and updates as per that's how ai as well is designed right to learn to learn after every experience although ai doesn't forget and we often tend to forget and be ignorant later on Let's go, bro. Let's go. Where are we riding towards? Uh, I have ran out of places to go, so go visit. And uh, I'm not really that creative in terms of finding unseen spots and stuff. You are free to recommend me uh, spots in Mumbai and around Mumbai to visit. So right now we are headed towards Sinchin Lake again. <laughs> um, the last I rode over to Sinchin Lake was with Mortal and uh, that was a good ride memorable one and this time i'm going at the same place because that the, the road is beautiful and uh, i actually don't care about the destination because what's there in the destination i still like the same we i am super hungry so we'll first go to fountain and then eat something it is already seven in the morning thanks to me I woke up at 5.30, we were supposed to leave at 6 and then I opened my phone and then got distracted for an hour. <laughs> Let's just say that. No man, actually I was, I don't know what I was doing but I wasn't wasting my time. <laughs> well, I was, uh, who am I kidding? Anyway, we are finally on road at uh, 7 o'clock. I'm continuing the tradition that mortal started. <laughs> Looks so lovely with the single seat, right? He has the, he's got the custom seat built. Mine is the stock one. Also, his is the five one. 
this is the bike that i've had my first motor vlog on if you if you if you go and visit my oldest video i mean motor vlog huh? i'm saying i'm not saying the video the video the first video on my channel was of course on the continental gt but not mine but this was the bike that i rode for the first time with the, with the motor vlog set up on so yeah it was very fun i i, I, I was riding to kolard if you if you watch that video <laughs> I, I i watched that video the other day just to revisit like the for the nostalgia and man i cringe so much i realized that i have <laughs> learned to speak to the camera a lot than then although mai kuch aisa khas ukhad nahi leta abhi but <laughs> at least i am not as cringy as i was 2 years ago i hope that was 2 years ago yeah it was 2 years ago and we've come a long way and then i didn't really bother because obviously no one was watching the videos so kya hi ho jayega only my i i was only bothered of the people at work because that's the people that were going to watch my video because they were like oh iske paas gopro hai dekhte hai ye kya ukhad leta next day hame sir bise dekhna hai i'm a very socially conscious guy like that <laughs> socially conscious socially anxious more like it feels good my bike also feels good of course i have fixed all of the problems in my bike a video of which will be coming very soon the reasons and the consequences man i'm starving as hell very very hungry and he is as well and he pointing that out has amplified that hunger even more so thanks idiot since both of us are royal and fields we are going very easy <laughs> i don't have anything to catch up to so we are taking it easy now also please please excuse my voice because i've been under the weather since the last two weeks so i can't really do anything about it my last video also was embarrassingly bad in terms of my voice nope I don't want to take that risk I'm so glad I've got a wise roommate good job Rita good job <laughs> man the weather feels lovely like you're getting those little little chills oh, it feels good I'm so glad I did not take my winter line I was like Should I take this winter seriously? Because since the last two days, winter has been showing some, throwing some. Today is 26th of January, by the way. If I haven't clarified it. <laughs> so yeah, this is sort of that Republic Day ride. But okay, where's fountain? Fountain somewhere here, right? Oh, riding clan. I don't know what was the point of this maneuver but I could have just entered from there man. <laughs> but yeah never mind. That was on purpose guys. What tight air! By the way, I've gotten myself these new gloves. Well, I haven't gotten them myself, but friends at Rhinox were kind enough to send me these gloves and these pants. So, yeah, there's that.
man, I forgot. <laughs> I had to refuel. And this guy is reminding me. Oh, here starts the fog. Why does it smell so bad though? Is it fog? Doesn't it look beautiful, the Royal Enfield? I'm pretty sure I also look the same. <laughs> so I'm very happy. Unless I don't. Man, this feels so good. This Royal Enfield, Royal Enfield, na. This is a vibe, you know? It's like two like-minded people talking to each other. <laughs> as, as simple as that. Like, the, the wavelength and the vibe matches so perfectly. And then comes these. And then come these. What do I say? He doesn't even have a mirror, man. How do I signal him? He also has to keep guessing. And now we are going to be in the battery You will have to deal with it Bye, have a great time YouTuber life Let's go to a YouTuber's house He doesn't suffer from a YouTuber He also suffers 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 from a YouTuber Well, you can say suffer and suffer in both the contexts We are on a suffer and I am suffering So, never mind Wow, that's a Lovely, whatever you want to call it, bungalow or anything, interceptor. I'm not speaking much because I'm just letting letting myself soak in all of the scenery, all of this soothing pleasure. And whenever I'm on a ride now, I, I realize that I don't do this often, and I should because. You really need some sort of a rejuvenation, man. I mean, for the lack of a better word. Such rides help you reflect. And I'm, I, I don't know, man. I'm wired in that way that such experiences, such, such rides and this freedom of the highway that I like to speak all the time, it makes me feel good. It, it helps me, you know, heal. And I should do this often, man. The last I rode was to Malshej, and after that I haven't gone on a proper ride. And today, after that, after literally what months, I'm doing it. This baby also has not gone out since a really, really long time. It really feels good. <clears throat> Doesn't it look lovely, you know, man? Lovely. Wow, look at that scenery, man. Beautiful. Like different plates of landscape. Why do people keep stuffed animals uh, at the back of their cars? I don't understand. I, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with it. I don't have a problem with it. I'm just curious to know what's the reason to keep such tigers and dogs at the back. Like, what is the thought in your mind while buying it, while spending money for it? He, I'll spend these 100 bucks, get this stuffed toy, 
and keep it at the back of my car. It's not like it's lying around in a house. You are purposely buying that to keep it at the back of your car. Now, why is that? Is there some sort of a philosophy behind it? I don't know. But I'd like to. Know. So, if any one of you knows, or or if any one of you has one of these in your cars, please let please please let me know. I mean, I understand stuffed pillows because you may need them somewhere down the line, but. Animals. What are you going to do with the animals? I told this dumbass to use my jacket, but he didn't like the fit of it, so he did not wear it. I'm like, seriously, dude. <laughs> You're not wearing it as a costume, dude. You're not, you're not going at a party and then people will be like, wow, that feels fits very awfully. It is supposed to protect you. But then I, I tried convincing this guy, but I failed. Guys, by the way, I have been changing my lanes left, right and center. Quite literally, that is. But you must notice that I am indicating, I am checking the vehicles through the mirrors and then indicating and then turning. So, it's fine if you do it while being attention on the road, okay? But it's very necessary for you to check through the mirrors and then indicate. Don't just shove yourself in a lane because you can. Alright, the highways are done. Now time for the fun. Ah, now we are back to the... Man, the nostalgia hit me real good this time. Last time I rode with Mortal. I remember I said last time, this is RA Colony with better roads. <laughs> yeah. Man, look at my shadow, dude. Sexy shadow. <laughs> ah, this feels good, man. This feels good. Such beautiful roads, dude. And this ke aage to ghats bhi hai. Yeah, that's going to be even more fun. Touch wood. Knock on the head. <laughs> because the last time I went in the ghats, things weren't really. Mm. Making its full worth. But yeah, I don't blame him. I mean, that car that is. I mean, a car that is so agile. I mean, sure, he, he is. I mean, he's too out of the line, but I don't blame him. I mean, there's a reason why uh, Royal Enfields, uh, especially classics, classic riders, so to speak, ride together and don't really gel up with <laughs> other, other bikers. Because, don't get me wrong, nothing is wrong with riding with other bikers. But the problem is that this speed is the most ideal for Royal Enfields, especially the classics. So, you only enjoy this speed on such roads. And if you have, uh, 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 for example, a Domina, like, like the, the, the way I, I rode with Mortal last time, I felt really bad for him because he had to stay back for me. And uh, I can imagine that will be very frustrating because you know you can go faster than this and you can have a, a lot better fun than riding with a slow ass <laughs> bike. But Royal Enfields are meant to be ridden at such speeds, like nice, nice and calm, soaking in the scenery and enjoying the roads. These are meant to be ridden this way. That's when you actually have fun. And when you have a Royal Enfield rider with you, you get that sort of like companionship and you, you feel better about not riding fast or... I mean, sure, riding fast, of course, there's no, there's no substitute to that. There's nothing more fun than riding your brains out, but this feels good also. And especially when you don't have that pressure to, you know, cope up or catch up with your fellow rider partners, but then you have even more fun. My hands are cold. This leather has this perforated uh, mesh sort of a design, right? So that again is making me cold. 
but that's good it's good ventilation when you need it i i i'm going to i'm going to make a review of both the gloves and the the pants i i don't know if i've said this earlier but yeah these are uh, i i had the jacket already and i've upgraded my gloves and i've gotten myself these pants and this is thanks to friends at rhinox to send me these so yeah videos of these two will be coming shortly so you can call this a uh, uh, a ride powered by rhinox <laughs> because i am literally protected by rhinox yeah you can you can call that you can say protected by rhinox <laughs> motor vlog by anurag salgaonkar protected by rhinox sponsored by anurag salary <laughs> this is that bridge man look at that look at that beautiful uh what is say man canopy canopy really ah uh. wow kya ladka hai very handsome boy now we'll start the ghats lovely lovely i guess this is the this is the turn right Yep, this is the turn, that notorious turn. <laughs> He crashed in the. I don't know, man. Which one was it? This was the turn, I guess. Yeah. Okay, little guys. I have purposely gone on the different side than it usually shows on the map. This is my sort of a trick because I remember me. I remember coming here the last time. So. people are obviously going to since the map shows on that side people won't really come here unless they know the road oh oh, oh there are people here okay there are quite a lot of people here kamali <laughs> besti and we and i thought i'm being smart and here we are finally away from the city into the nature's arms where the urban chaos fades and all you've got is peace you let your guards down and take your masks off you become one with the earth winds gushing through your hair and birds chirping into your ears and then Mark up. Wait a minute. Nigga, nigga, mark. Came here to have a good time. These guys. I mean, <clears throat> sure, I appreciate you riding and having a good time. But if you had to had to listen to songs on a speaker, you could have just done that at your home, man. You come all the way here in nature. At least cherish it, dude. I mean, at least have. a little a little space at least give it some space at least give yourself some space to experience and feel the nature in its purest form why do you have to be distracted all the time with i don't know man with stimulus why does your brain always need stimulus i i am I'm, i'm very petty and very uh, um, intolerant in terms of such things because I visit such places to experience and feel the energy the the peace the solitude the nature and when you when it gets ruined with weird songs dude and I'm 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 also questioning the choice of songs that they were play <laughs> man but anyway we are out of it the ride was important and the ride was good 
last time i came with mortal it was just the two of us so we had a really good time some nice peaceful time this time it wasn't the case but theek hai sa thoda sa also i purposely did not shoot any b roll because i was shy i don't know because i didn't feel like the riding pants are super comfortable ha huh? i mean of course i have just done 80 km so that doesn't really i mean it's negligible but then to the feels very very comfortable we then continued riding back to home on the same road so there wasn't much to show also the video is already half an hour long so i guess i should just wrap this up quickly i hope you guys liked what you saw and i hope that you stay tuned for the next video because that's going to be insanity okay you know what ek teaser to banta bonus yaad teri